Hello, this is Mark via HipHopMakers.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make an animated banner in Photoshop. You can use this banner to promote your upcoming album, your website, your MySpace page, whatever you want. Uh, what you see on the screen is a speaker. You're going to need a speaker. I'm going to try to provide you with a link below, but if not, find one yourself, okay? Um, I'm going to come back to the speaker, though. So I'm going to make a new document in Photoshop. My width is going to be 450. My height is going to be 100, my resolution is going to be 72, and my color mode is going to be RGB. Okay, so I'm going to hit OK. And this is going to be the size of our banner. So I'm going to double click this layer. I'm going to name it BG. And I'm going to double click it again. I want to uh, give the background a color that's going to stand out. So I'm going to the gradient overlay tool. And I'm going to select a dark red for the bottom and a brighter red for the top okay so you see what I got what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some text now and I'm using the font impact okay and so I want my messages to stand out sorry you can't see it it's in red I want my font to be black so free drums Double click the T and I'll make it a little bit bigger. Right about there. I'm gonna duplicate and make another layer. It's gonna be free samples. I'll make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to duplicate the layer. I'm right clicking the layer and going duplicate. Um, this one is going to be free tutorials. I'll make that a little bit smaller. Move it over to the left. And the last one, I'm going to duplicate the layer again. Sorry. And the last one will be hiphopmakers.com. Hiphopmakers.com. Well, just probably hip hop makers. And make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the circle tool. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to make a circle about that size. I'm going to double click the rest section and make it black. And I'm going to move it to about here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the speaker. I'm going to crop out everything that I don't need. So I'm going to crop that and then I'm going to hit crop. Or I hit the selection tool and then cropped it. I'm going to deselect it and I'm going to get the circle tool and I'm going to hold shift to make a perfect circle. Can't really see over it so I'm going to make it a little bit transparent and drag it to where I want to cut it. That's fine right there. So I'm going to hit control and I'm going to select the circle and then I'm going to hide the circle and then I'm going to select the layer with the speaker image in it and then then I hit this mask tool right here and then it cuts out everything so I'm going to drag this to my banner and I'm going to hide this I'm going to get my transform tool because I have my speaker layer selected and I'm holding shift to scale it Hit enter and drag it above this shift tool again to scale it properly. Okay, that's fine where it is. And I'm adjust the, the circle behind it again to make it more round to the edges. So let me uh, rename this layer sorry my Photoshop messes up a little bit circle okay I'm gonna rename the speaker speaker I'm gonna duplicate the speaker and it says speaker copy but I'm gonna name it speaker big okay so I'm going to hide the speaker big and I'm going to go to the speaker below it and I'm going to transform that one a little bit 
and make it smaller. Okay, so I have two layers of the speaker. This is speaker small, and I have speaker big. And for the uh, speaker big, I'm going to select that layer, and I'm going to go to blur and motion blur. And I have it at about 15, and you see that the effect that it gives it. So that's what we have right now. Okay, so now we have free drums, free samples, free tutorials, which I'm going to make a little bit bigger. All right, so I'm going to go to free drums. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to bring out the animation tool. All right, so the first frame I want is going to be on a blur. So I'm going to duplicate the free drums layer. And so I made a duplicate of free drums. I put my speaker on blur and then I'm going to go to motion blur again. Yes. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So I put it at let's say even 30, okay? I'm hit okay. So this is the first frame. I'm going to put it at 0.2 seconds. I'm going to make another layer. I'm going to set it at 2 seconds. I'm going to hide my free drums motion blur layer and I'm going to put free drums and I'm going to hide the speaker big. So I have this is the first frame, this is the second frame. So I'm going to make me another frame right here by clicking this this little icon right here to make another one. I'm going to put this on point 2. I'm going to put the speaker big on again. I'm going to hide free drums and I'm going to make a, a copy of free samples. I'm going to show it right there and then I'm going to go to motion blur and it's already set to, to the way that I want it. So then it gives it this blur, okay? So this is set to blur once again. This is sharp. These are on blur. I'm going to make another one. Set it at two seconds and it's going to be free samples and then the big speaker is going to be off. So I'm going to play it for a second. So when the speaker hits, the words change. So I'm going to uh, continue to do this. New layer or new frame. I'm going to set it to two seconds. I'm going to hide this. I'm going to put the big speaker. I'm going to show that one. And it's going to be free tutorials next. I'm going to hide that free tutorials. I'm going to give this one a motion blur. There we go right there. And the speakers on blur. I'm going to make a new frame. I'm going to hide the motion blurred free tutorials one. I'm going to show it now. And I'm going to hide that. And I'm going to put that at two seconds. So I'm going to make another one. Put the big speaker in. And then the last one is Hip Hop Makers. So I'm going to duplicate the layer. I'm going to go to Motion Blur. And that's what it's showing. And remember we set this at point 2. And I'm going to make a new one. And now it's going to be clear. So this is the whole animation. pop makers okay so that's the whole banner so I hope that you found this to be helpful um, to export I usually just go to save for web you save as a gif 256 colors and save it to the desktop or save it to wherever you want so banners and that's the uh, banner okay hope you enjoy